Hey, what's up, tubers and tubettes? Uh, thank you for over 800 subs. Today I'm going to be making carne asada tacos. Are you ready? Okay, here it goes. Okay, so I just finished with the guacamole, and now I'm going to be making the best tacos in your life. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Okay, so carne asada tacos. The most important ingredient right now is that uh, we have to cook. And how to cook is that we have to use olive oil. So the olive oil that I'm using is called Bertoli, Bertoli olive oil, okay? Okay, I'm gonna turn on it turn it on now. Okay, because we have to put it on. I put it on number five. I usually like to open this up. Let me get the cooking now. Uh, okay. The cooking pan is here, so now I have to use a little bit of oil. You can use any kind of oil you want. I use olive oil, organic, fruity taste. I just finished making the guacamole. And now I'm gonna be making the tacos. So, what you, the main ingredient is, you need the steak, you need the steak. So, you need all the ingredients. So here I have a, a beef steak. And this is called uh, beef back chuck, okay? So this is the steak that I got, and this is for like 200 baht. And then I'm using Danita's flour tortillas, fajita style. So I have 10 pieces here. So I'm gonna be making uh, like four tacos, okay. Okay, so now that that's cooking, I could turn this on, but it's gonna be a loud noise, so I'm not gonna turn it on now. Let's put the steak in first. Now to get it open is a little bit, uh, it's a little bit tricky. So hold on, give me a second, guys, because once I open it, it's gonna go all over the place. So let me just get a nice, uh, a nice opening here. Okay, and hopefully you can enjoy this video wherever you're at. Okay, so here I go. I'm gonna be making the ah uh, carne asada tacos here. Now I just put the steak in there. And that's how I'm going to be cooking it, so just like that. But actually, uh, I can cut it into small pieces as well. But let, let's cook it first before we cut it into small pieces. Either or, you can cook it before. I mean, you can you can um, you can you can actually I can cut it now. Actually, hold on a second. I can cut it now before I put it in. So so this is the steak here. And uh, I'm gonna be cutting it. So just like that. Now I gotta cut it into small pieces because this is called uh, carne asada. In carne asada, you have to use the very small piece. So you just cut it into small pieces like that. Okay, ugh, okay. Now when you're cutting it, you gotta be careful, okay guys? Because, uh... I don't know how long this, this fit's gonna be. It could be 15, 20 minutes, I don't know, because I haven't done this in like a long time. So just give me a second here. I have to cut it first into small pieces because this is called carne asada. Carne asada is the small pieces. So you want small pieces. You don't just want one steak. You, you need you need small pieces, okay? So as you can see, I'm cutting it now. And uh, this is good for your health. Uh, I don't know how many calories it is, but it's good for your health, okay? Try not to overdo it though, so... Uh, okay, I'm cutting it now, just give me a second. Now 
It's easier to cut, I think, now, but I think, uh, because once I put it in the frying pan, it's going to start cooking, so I'm just trying to get all the cuts right now, so just give me a second. Because I want to make four tacos, that's why, so that's why I got to cut it into little small pieces, like that. Okay. This is definitely a workout, guys. This is definitely a workout. I have all the condiments though here, so make sure you get you get all the condiments for your tacos. Now you can make chicken tacos and fish tacos and stuff like that, but I like the beef. I like the beef. Um, whatever you prefer. But this is definitely beef steak, and uh, that's why I'm cutting it for you now. And. Now for cooking, I'm going to use a little soy sauce, so I, gotta, I get to use a little bit of soy sauce in there as well, just for flavor. Okay, so now we, we finished cutting it. As you can see, it's right there. Now I'm going to put it in here, okay? Okay, now, make sure you have ground cumin. I'm using ground cumin from McCormick. And you need to put a little bit of that in there for flavor, okay? So let's open the ground cumin now. And this is going to give it the flavor. And I'll just let that cook there for a second there. And I'm just going to check something real quick. Uh, okay. Now, I got to put garlic in there. So I got to put onions. Let's put some onions in there to give it flavor. Now, I want to put this, I, I'm not too sure how much, maybe, huh, let's see. One, two, three, uh, I'm not sure how much actually. But that, that, that's, that's three times I did it. Just for flavor. What about chili powder? Chili powder, you see this is the McCormick. So this is all for flavor, guys. And you need this for flavor when you're cooking, okay? One, two, three, okay. And oregano. One, two, three, okay. Now we can put a tomato in there. You can put anything in there pretty much. Uh, but... To give it some flavor. And I'm just cutting this up real quick here. Let's put in some more onions. And you need, I'm gonna, I need one more coriander. So let me take one more of this, this bad boy out. You need one more of these. So I'm just gonna wash it. Let me wash it again, okay? So just give me a second, hold on. Oh, I didn't notice that that was there, okay. And this is just gonna give it flavor. So, okay, I'm gonna move that, okay? And also, what I can put in there is uh, maybe a little bit of this. Little soy sauce in there maybe for, uh, for taste. And I'm using the Kinokoman, okay, Kinokoman. Uh, sushi and sashimi soy sauce. Okay, that's just for flavoring. Uh, that could be a secret ingredient. Now, uh, we got some more onions here, so the more onions you put, the better for cooking, okay? And tomatoes for flavor, okay?
Okay, we got the coriander in there now. We want to also put one coriander on the outside. So let me grab one more. Uh, this is also called in Spanish uh, cilantro. Cilantro. The more you have, the better. So let me just uh, wash that, and then we can put this on the outside. Okay, when it's finished. Because the more you have, the better it is. Now I have feta cheese because they don't have a uh, fresa queso. Fresa queso is the Spanish version. They don't have fresa queso, so I'm using the feta cheese. It's the closest thing that I can get. Okay, now I gotta open up one lemon and I'm gonna use, I'll probably use half for cooking and half to put it on it, okay? Just for, for flavor, okay? Or right, wait a second, um, okay, that's fine, yeah, I'll probably. So I also have black pepper here, okay, and I have the salt, but I, I can put that after, not now. So what I'm going to do is I'll just put a little bit of, of lime on it for flavor, okay. And that's going to give it the flavor because you want flavor in there. And then what I'm going to do is for these pieces here, I'll put it after, okay? After they're, they're out. Okay, I'm going to chop up some more onions, okay guys? So just give me a second here. And you see, you just put the onions on there. And uh, let me smash up one lemon maybe for flavor. And then we'll put two once, once they're finished, okay? Now let me cut up these onions here because once the tacos are finished, I got I gotta have a lot of onions and stuff to put to put on the top of it, okay? I'm just gonna cut up some onions here. Ooh, that smells really good right now. And then once I finish cutting this up, you can put this on after, okay? Here's the feta cheese. I have four pieces, so I'm going to be using that for the four tacos. One on each taco. Uh, I got to open up one more lime because uh, I'm, I have four tacos, so I want to put the four pieces of lemon on the... Well, actually, I could use this. That's fine. Okay, uh, what I'm going to be doing is now just getting out these onions here. And now just start cutting, just start cutting. And as you can see, it's gonna take a while. It's not finished yet, so maybe I'll just let it roll a little bit. Let me get out, uh, hold on. Let me get out my, uh, I need a spatula. Where's the spatula, hold on. It's taking a little bit of a while here. Let me find the spatula, just give me a second. Okay, I can't find a spatula right now. Okay, now when you're cooking it, 
you should, uh, well, hold on. Let me, let me move this here so you won't have to see that. Okay. Make sure that you get in there and you're cooking it. I want to let all that simmer, all that mix in there. Okay. Okay, it's finished now. So now what you want to do is uh, you want to get out your flour tortillas here. So you want to open this package up. So I like getting like four, so because I'm gonna be making four tacos. So now I'm gonna be getting this out. I just get four pieces out, okay? So just take it out like that and just get out four pieces. Let's see here, here's one, two, three, and four. Okay, that should be enough. Put the rest back. If I can get it open. Okay. Now, make sure that uh, you use one uh, one garlic. So I have to get a garlic out here. Let me get a garlic out. And you want to make sure that the garlic is in there. So you just cut it like that. Cut it in half, okay? And that's going to give it some flavor. That really smells good, yeah. And that's it. That's it for your your carne asada, you know. Uh, that's it. And uh, what I want to do is now is that uh, now that I got all the ingredients here, pretty much everything on here you can put on your tacos. So I have here the the lime, and then I have the onion here. I have tomatoes and I have feta cheese. So this can all go on my and my coriander here. Also, it's called cilantro. And so I'm gonna put this all on my own all on my taco as well as guacamole okay because you need you need toppings for your taco if you don't have toppings for your taco then it's uh it's it's not going to be tasty so you want to make, make sure you get all the toppings for your taco tacos okay so i got four pieces here okay i think that's about it for now uh i'm going to stop it at the, at the at the 20 minute mark don't forget the garlic don't forget the lime don't forget all the, all the stuff that I showed you how to make. And like I said, after, you can throw a little black pepper and you can throw a little salt on it, okay? And don't forget your bag of tortilla chips because with tacos, you always need tortilla chips and guacamole so you can have a very, very nice meal. This is my lunch for today. And uh, that's about it, guys. That's about it. Uh, so just let that simmer in there. Okay, it's finished now. That's about it. So I'm going to stop it now. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Bye-bye.
happy weekend and welcome to October. Bye bye.